you know how uh, heat and fuel uh, don't really mix together. Modifieds out on the racetrack now for their heat race action. Heat race number one. We'll see Chris Palsrock on the pole in the C5 machine to the outside of the 07 car. That is Corey Bosma. Inside row number two, we see the 44V of Harvey Vandeweer to the outside. Somebody called the doctor. It's Zach Doctor in the 6Z. And Jesse Rogotsky, the triple X machine, starting shotgun on the field. All three Rogotskis are here tonight. Good to see Jordan Rogotsky back out here in the double X machine after going for a ride Monday at the Clay County Fair Speedway. And Pals Rock will have the initial lead. That DeVilba chassis of Bosma getting a little tight in turns one and two. And Ryan, did I say something wrong or? No, I just realized something. That is Jesse's other car. Jordan's driving brother Jesse's car. Jesse has the black car we'll see in the next heat race. So fans, that is the double X of Jordan Rogatsky driving the white triple X car. So that will be the double X car here tonight as we got a battle for the race lead shaping up between Vanderbeer and Chris Paul Rock. I guess I should look at my race pass more often instead of relying on memory uh, for calling starting lineups as Harvey Vanderbeer. Look at the 44 V now to the race lead over the C5 as Pals Rock. Yeah, way loose off of turn number four. Vanderweer, Paldron, Dr. Jordan Rogotsky. Thank you for the clarification. And Corey Bosma, three-wheel motion, trying to get that car to rotate through turns one and two. As they come through turns three and four, Paldron's going to look to the inside but have to tuck tail behind the Harvey Vanderweer as they come down, make another lap. But also wanting to throw his head to the mix. Here comes that Doctor in the six, and he drives to the inside of Chris Paul's rock. A battle between the five and the six, and Doctor's going to have a position going to turn number three. Driver out of Norwich, North Dakota, coming down to Minnesota and doing some dirt track racing on a Sunday night in Orlington, Minnesota. As he'll have second now off a of turn two, the 44 V, the six, the C5. Double X, Rogatsky, and the 07 of Bosma with two to go this time by. Harvey Vanderweer still showing that he can still wheel a modified on that 44V machine and showing kids Connor and Cameron, hey, I don't race that often, but I can still get the job done as he'll see the white flag and one to go. As the white flag comes up, Piles Rock overstepped it a little bit, coming through turn four. He's going to get back on the gas and try to stay in the not last position, but now he's in a battle for not last as Bosma gets around him. But through turns three and four this time by the 44's V of Harvey and we're going to see the checkered fly. Second goes to Doctor. Third will be the Jordan Rogowski. Here comes the battle for fourth. Piles Rock going to hold him off. And rounding up the top five is going to be the 0-7 of Corey Bosma. That, we un that is uncharacteristic to him compared yes. to last year. Yes. Now he's back into the black and gold machine. We'll see what he can do with the black and gold machine. Well, the, the white and black machine, I, I'm pretty sure that is a new car to him this year or just a new chassis in general. So uh, trying to figure it out, lending it to uh, little brother Jordan. So, uh, yeah, Josh Rogotsky, the X car out there as well. Uh, Josh, I believe, will be in action at the Houston Speedway on Tuesday with the Tri-State Late Model Series. But right here, right now, it's Modified Racing and the Brothers Rogatsky up front. Josh Rogatsky going to lead us into turn number one, but here comes Jesse to the high side, but it has to step it back a little bit as he got way high off of turn number two. And here comes Porter to the inside of Rogatsky. Through turn three and four they go. Rogatsky is going to try and drive away from Porter as a front stretch. Now he holds on to second spot. That lap is down. Josh Rogatsky, your race leader, followed by Jesse Porter and Brown in the R1 machine. As they work through turns three and four, Josh leading Jesse. As it is Chad Porter and Thomas Brown, the R1 machine off a of turn at number two. And looks like Jesse slowly but surely gaining on the his brother, the ex of Josh. As Jesse hits the high side, the way, way high side in turn one. Dime in the corner in. Well, Ryan looks like he's starting to reel old brother Josh in. Josh is doing everything he can to keep rolling that high side in as well as Jesse running the real high side. He's going to pitch it in there and try to dive it down, but oversteps it a bit. Able to correct it back down the back straightaway and hold on to the second place spot for the time being. 
Off of turn number four, it's still Josh Fergonski, a race leader, followed by brother Jesse and Chad Porter at third. As he goes into turn one, Rogatsky, that's Josh Rogatsky. Trying to find the moisture as there's not much left of it out here, Ryan, as we work through turns three and four. Jesse way up on the high side. Two to go now for Josh Rogatsky. Rogatsky's out of San Borna, Minnesota. As they'll see the white flag this time by Rogatsky, Rogatsky, Porter, and Brown. Your running order. White flag is out. We got one lap to go for Josh Rogatsky in the X1, followed by Jesse Rogatsky in the Triple X, Chad Porter, and rounding out this four car field, the R1 of Thomas Brown. But through turn three and four, one last time, the green flag goes away, the white flag goes away, and now the checkered flag waves for the X1 of Josh Rogatsky. Second to Jesse Rogatsky and Chad Porter and Thomas Brown, your field here at Heat Race number two in your big orbs, IMCA modified. To give it up for him, race fans, they make his way off the racing surface. Josh Rogatsky leading that one with no challenges and taking home the win. Ladies and gentlemen, this time by head flagman Matt Stubbe's giving the sign. We're going to be going green next time by. So this is your parade and wave lap. As they double them up and get ready to go, we got a bunch of laps to settle out the score. Modifieds getting ready to put on the show. Big R's bringing you the feature race here tonight and Jake's Meat Market Night at the Worthington Speedway. Through turns three and four, nice and easy pace we go and the green is up and it's out. We're underway in feature racing action. Harvey Vanderweer, the early race leader in turn number one. A pair of Rogatsky's running for second. It's Jesse to the inside, Jordan to the outside, down the back straightaway, side by side for second with Chad Porter running in fourth, and it's three wide with Chris Paul's going around, goes Doctor. Doctor making a health call into turn number three and four. Unfortunately, you don't want to make that right about now as a caution might be coming out. Yes, the yellow flag is out. Little bit of contact between Paul's Rock and Zach Doctor, and Doctor goes around in turn three, drawing the caution. You know, Scotty, we always say something about announcers' worst nightmares when somebody drives the backup car, like when Jake Sacco lets somebody drive his backup car, and they look exactly the same. This is a little bit different. At least the cars are different colors. Jordan Rogatsky driving the white triple X. His brother Jesse Rogatsky's other car that he started the season with. Off of turns three and four this time though. Green is back up and is out. We're underway once again. Oh, trouble bobble by Jordan and it bunches everybody up from second on back and Jesse was able to gather it back up. Now he's gonna charge in the fourth spot. But here comes Porter the inside for second. Mud plug goes away off of off of the triple X machine after some contact. Actually, that was a butt plug off the double X. That was Jordan Rogatsky's butt plug that ended up in the top of turns three and four. It's up and out of the way enough. We're not gonna have any issues with your this high five. And so we're gonna turn three and four. Jordan Rogatsky and Pals Rock side by side. To turn three and four. Porter now will get into that third place by the 12 machine. Jesse Rogowski running down Harvey Vanderweerd. Vanderweerd, your race leader, Zach Docker, inside of Bosma, and... Well... He'll keep us to the green flag. I was about to say, Doctor, for getting something at the clinic, making that house call once again. Well, we're still lean, mean, and green. Vanderweerd, your race leader. But now Doctor's going to look for look to have a charge from Harvey Vanderweer, but the charge is going to be for not making a lap down if he can try to drive away, as Harvey Vanderweer is going to leave us another lap. Jesse Rogowski trying to chase it down. Closest battle on track is now going to be Paul's Rock trying to chase down Jordan Rogowski in the double X. As Vanderweer your race leader, Jesse Rogowski. Jordan Rogowski trying to find a run to the 12 of Chad Porter. It's going to be... 
Levine to win it, Rogatsky, Porter, Rogatsky, Pals Roger, top five. Then Bosma, Rogatsky, and Brown, your and doctor, your running order. Single file around Worthington Speedway now for your modified division. As we'll close out the night with the Hobby Sox up next. Josh Rogatsky and Corey Bosma doing battle now off turn four. Jordan Rogatsky keeping Pals Rock at bay. Keep Pals Rock at bay for the time being, but yes, you said it, the exit Josh Rogatsky trying to get up towards Corey Bosma, trying to get that position as three cars are closing in on each other for third, fourth, and fifth. Jordan Rogatsky is gonna hit the high side, trying to chase down Chad Porter. Chad Porter down the back straightaway, holds up the position, side by side, deep in the field. Josh Rogatsky looking to the inside of Bosma, Gets the position as Bosma hits the wall. Bosma in the backstretch wall, halfway down, halfway to go now for the 44 feet of Vanderweerd. Can Bosma still keep it rolling? It looks like nothing really affected on that 07 B machine. As here comes Jordan Rogoski working on the outside of Porter. Porter shuts the door. Rogoski tries to go underneath. Nothing happening. That's for third and fourth. Pals Rock handling there now as well. Off of turn number four, it is still Vanderweerd, your race leader in the 44 machine. As Rogatsky working on Porter, he's got him at the line. Jordan Rogatsky up now to third. Harvey Vanderweerd with a half straightaway advantage over Jesse Rogatsky. Rogatsky's got a lead over front or basically a straightaway lead over Jordan Rogowski, who has now gotten around Chad Porter for that third place spot. Now Porter's, and we got yellow on the speedway. Thomas Brown around in turns one and two, drawing the caution late in this one. Not what Harvey Vanderweerd wanted to see as he's got uh, Rogowski's right behind him. Looks to me, I don't know if that uh, rear end on that 07B machine of Corey Bosma, it looks like it might be tweaked just a little bit after he got into the backstretch wall. Well, no matter as what, no matter what might be tweaked, he's got to finish out the race here to try and make his way up to the front or just hold on as we get the green flag coming out this time by. Green is back up and is underway. Once again, Harvey Vanderweer getting a nice good restart, but here comes Jesse. And here comes Jordan, and Jesse goes around right in front of the field, and Josh spins, and Doctor spins to avoid contact. Caution. The flag is out once again. Oh, overstepped it into turns one and two, got on the binders to avoid contact, and around goes the triple X of Jesse Rogatsky. So the brothers Rogatsky and the six of Doctor, all four of them, well, three of them are brothers, but... Uh, all four of them very good friends as well. They pit next to each other everywhere they go. Through turns one and two, again here, doubled up. Delaware double file, Harvey Vanderweerd, on row all his own. Jordan Rogotsky in second, opt-in for the high line, puts Chad Porter to the inside. That's Paws Rock, Josh Rogotsky, Bosma, Dr. Jesse Rogotsky, and Brown, your field. Through turns three and four, this time by nice, easy pace. Jordan and Josh are setting up real high to try and get the run. Green is out. We're back underway. Keep the racing action. Harvey Vanderweer dives it to the low side. He's able to get the good drive off the bottom side, but here comes Jordan Rogowski and Josh Rogowski around Chad Porter for the second and third spot, but we're almost three wide. As here comes Doctor. Doctor sticking in three wide situation down the front straightaway between Paul's Rock and Josh. Now he's going to look to the middle of the situation between Porter and Josh Rogowski. Josh Rogowski running up on the high side. He's able to get the momentum. Trying to battle back with Chad Porter. As they work to turns three and four, Josh follows Jordan in the tire tracks up top. We're going to put him almost four deep. Who turns three and four? Oh, a little bit of Robbins racing. Porter, the Rogowskis, and Doctor right there. Three wide for a split second now off a of turn two. Porter up to second. Harvey Vanderweer's like, you guys go right ahead and beat and bang and scrape and fight. I'm going to walk away here on this 44 machine. Little bit of bumping, little bit of rubbing, little bit of sibling rivalry for that third place spot with Josh Rogowski. Jordan Rogowski now trying to chase down. Chad Porter is here, comes Doctor to the inside, almost making a four car pack for second, and here comes Jesse to round out the Rogowski clan. 
battling for that second place spot, making a five car throw a blanket overall. Off of turn two we go here again. Chad Porter able to hold off for the time being. Single file there. Harvey Vanderweer to an island all his own. Green high in the air, two laps to go, but the race is on for second. Porter, Rogowski, Rogowski, Dr. Rogowski, and now Pels Rock, they're all right there. As we work off a of turn number two, Josh Rogowski punches a hole to the middle, three wide down the back stretch as the white comes out for Harvey Vanderweer. Working through three and four. Here comes Jordan, he'll cut, cut the nose off of brother and doctor into turns one and two. Down the back stretch for the final time, though. Twin checkers fly for Harvey Vanderweerd. The battle for third on back. Here they come off a of turn number four. Porter second. Who's going to have it? It's going to be Jordan Rogowski in third sack. Doctor fourth, Josh Rogowski. And I believe Pals Rock or Jesse Rogowski. Oh, my. What just happened? We're gonna go to live timing for that one uh, here. Oh my good, Harvey Vanderweer walked away with this feature race, that battle in uh, the last, what would you say, Ryan, the last half of that race. I'd say we have a uh, very happy crew down here and happy family getting the hugs and congratulations from the family down here. Harvey, welcome to Victory Lane. It's been a while. That it has. You had to work a little bit for that one. Yeah, I did. I know they were there. Just kept my line. That's all I could do. When that last caution came out, what, what was going through your head? You were leading all that way, and then that late race caution came out. Uh, I just knew they were that much closer. So I had to keep myself on my toes and get through the corner. Who do you got to thank to put in victory lane here tonight? Thank my family, boys, my wife. A big shout out to my mom. She's dealing with cancer. And uh, also my dad. He's with her right now taking care of her. So shout out to those. Well, congratulations once again. Welcome to Victor Lane. Hope we get to see you here later on. Harvey Vanderweer, your big R's IMC modified feature winner.